Hello everyone, Exodus here, welcoming you to a brand new gaming adventure that I probably never would have picked by myself. Um, they are adorable. I, I, I am a, I am an anime guy. I'm not an anime pro. I know one. He gives me all the stuff I need to watch that makes me happy, but... I mean, it's a cute little... Yeah. Anyway, I had to consent before I could play this kind of thing. It was weird, you know, and it's a very disturbing game, apparently. So, users, or users, like me, need to beware. So, viewers, like you, need to also beware, I guess. Why? We'll find out. Probably a lot of you already know. I don't. I've never... I, I, my niece says it's a popular game, and it's crazy and everything else, so I said, okay. New game. Uh, we will go Exodus. Let it begin. Uh, I'm guessing this is a female voice. If we want voices, I will try. But I don't want to butcher it, so we'll just go with that. Hey! And if it's a girl, I'll adjust. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. Okay. That girl is Sayori. Sayori. I'm gonna butcher these names. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. Correct me, please. Correct me in the bottom, you know. Give me annunciations if you have to. I don't want to ruin this. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. Yeah. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. Sure. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Ha ha! Oh boy. I overslept again! But I caught you this time! Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Oh, I wonder if... Oh, jeez. That's me. Am I a girl? I have... Mm. Hey, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. Maybe. That's mean, Exodus. This could get awkward. Especially if I'm a girl. Mm. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Oh, I am a guy. Okay, that might make... Er. Lesbo! That's okay. They could be lesbians. I don't know. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, if you, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> Sorry. I come to <laughs> We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with our other students making their daily commute. So am I just reading a story to you all, I guess? That's what this game seems to be. Okay. By the way, Exodus, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Sounds like me. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Yeah, I, okay, so this is, this is sounding more and more like me anyway, so cool. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh huh. I was talking about how I'm, how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Boy, now I'm really starting to feel like the victim here. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die at, at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. 
All right, all right. Oh, that's me. See, I gotta pay more attention to that. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little harder? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Okay. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? I agree. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Whew! It's gonna kill my throat playing this game. Oh gosh, now we're at school. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come to the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Oh gosh. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. The face though. Meanie. <laughs> yeah. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Oh yeah. Books. Books are good. Books are fine. Not that I was ever aware that she had made any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. Okay. VP of literature. Gotcha. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Oh, great. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes! Let's go! Oh, gosh. Hmm. This is going to kill my, my voice. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. <sighs> this game has hit me to a T. I'd sell my soul for a cupcake, especially if it was a good one. A good cupcake? Whew, you can have my soul twice. Cupcake humor. Well, actually, it's not humor. It's fact. But still, humor. I dejectedly followed Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Girl 1, welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Oh good, I am a boy. We have final confirmation. We have final confirmation. Way to kill the atmosphere. What? Ah, Exodus, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. We got girls! We're surrounded by girls. This is... This is gonna get awkward, isn't it? Uh, the dots! Oh my gosh. I'm feeling the character. I'm feeling this guy. Situational. Oh. I feel you, buddy. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Of course. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry. Natsuki. Hmm. Okay, so that's Natsuki. Again, correct me on names. Please, please correct me on names. I need to know. I don't want to screw things up. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me 
think she's probably a first year. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. That must be... Oh, that's uh, Sayori. Yeah. Sayori says that quietly in, into my ear, then turns back toward the other girls. Anyway, that is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Ah, the super nerd. So, Yuri on the right, Natsuki in the middle, and... Um... Yeah, Sayori. I'm, I'm already... There's too many names. Yuri. Sayori. 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 Natsuki. <sighs> this is going to be fun. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? Well, at least she's got a normal name. By, you know, kind of America standards. That's right. Hi, Monica. You're a cutie. Green eyes. It's the green eyes. It's great to see you again, Exodus. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. Oh, this guy. I feel your pain, buddy. I remember school so well. What a dark year. Trying to be awkwardly fitting in. Ah. So, having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Y you too, Monica. Come sit down, Exus. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little excited. If you guys want voices, I'm all for it. I'll do more voices. Next one. If you want a next one. But I will have to have water with me. Ah, this is going to kill my throat. So we might just wrap this up here after this sequence or whatever so I can get to be sustenance in the throat. Then, how about I make some tea as well? Ooh, she read my mind. That's what I'm thinking. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Yes! Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes, decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. So cute! I had no idea you were good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full, and has already managed to get icing on her face. Of course, I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking at the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? She's staring at you. I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? Wow, Moody. Eh? I thought you technically did. Sayori said... Well... Maybe, but not for y you, no, you dummy. Oh, she's getting upset. All right, all right. Pink haired girl. Just keep her away with a pole, you know, poke her away. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully plays a tea, places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. Yeah, I will do voices if you guys really want. <coughs> you might be able to tell my voice is already getting raspy. This is a lot of talking, of course, 15 minutes non-stop. It gets kind of... You need, you need lubrication. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Yeah, uh, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yours is just trying to impress you. Eh, uh, that's not... 
gets all embarrassed. Insulted, Yuri looks away. She's not insulted. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at, I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. I mean, that's, that's basically what happened, right? Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? Well, she's nice. As president, ah, as president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm in, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you the a leader of the debate club last year? Uh, well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Yeah. Feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. Yeah, sounds like clubs. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. That's the way to do it. She's, she's smart. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Yeah, Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events, like the festival, festival that much more important. Yeah. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. So far, this isn't a very disturbing game. Right, everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. There's all four of them. One screenshot. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. It's a literature club. The guy... Yeah. Yeah. So, Exodus, what kinds of things do you like to read? Yeah. Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Hmm. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Na Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Uh-oh. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Yeah. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. Yeah, it's, I'm, well, you know, okay, I guess it's more of a picture and go thing, not a animated. Thing. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. That's a lot of people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Whew, mouthful. Anyway. I've been reading a lot of horror lately, and I read a horror book once. I desperately grab, grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if, it, if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. This is a lot of reading. Oh my, this is a lot of reading. What'd you get me into, Cass? Jeez. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why's that? 
Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. Ooh, she's got a crush on me, doesn't she? Pink-haired girl. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting? It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud. And give that back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori sidles up beside, behind Kit Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. Ooh. I'm not cute! Oh, the angry face. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. Oh boy. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Burn. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. Whew. We all sit in silence for a moment. And that's where I'm going to stop. My throat's going to be killing me. <clears throat> I'm sure this is going to pick up. I'm sure this is going to get more interesting. I'm sure something's going to happen. Right now, it's a lot of reading. I'll do the best I can. If I start sounding raspy, I apologize. That is a lot of reading, so... Hope everybody's enjoying the girls of Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm interested. I want to know the story. I want to know what's going to happen. And of course, you know, it looks like it's almost becoming a love love square. No, no, no. Triangle's three. A square would be four people. This is five now. So a love pentagon? Ooh, that's weird. That's weird. Okay, anyway, we'll see. I don't know. More might change, though. So. Hope everybody enjoys. Um, a lot of reading. Sorry. Till next adventure. Take care. Till then. Peace.